build five or part five of the wheel horse snow plow. Um, last weekend I used uh, CRC heavy duty silicone to spray down this steel because I didn't want it to rust up on me. It did the weekend before so I thought well by spraying silicone on it it would prevent that from happening and then it did. Pretty good stuff. You can buy it at your local Walmart uh, for I think it's 380 something. I work at Walmart so I get a little bit of a discount. Um, not much of a discount. 10% ain't shit. This really knocks the tax off is all it does. But uh, pretty good stuff actually. I like it. Um, so anyhow, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be drilling a hole into this quarter inch, this uh, quarter inch or yeah, quarter inch steel, and I got to drill a hole through this eighth inch steel. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill. I'm going to use my drill press and drill this piece separate, and then I'm going to use my hand drill and drill through the eighth inch because it, it's it's a lot easier to drill through with it with the hand drill and plus it's already bolted on I don't want to be taken off so <clears throat> this way I can just do it drill these two holes paint the front end back to black again and we'll be good to go um, I think I showed in previous videos I bought this at uh, tractor supply store Royal King um, it's like eight bucks or something like that um, it's going to be the support it's going to go up from here to here to keep this down here from sliding back and forth and I'm pretty sure I showed you all that in that previous video um, I'm going to do this today and next weekend I'll be bolting the engine on and then uh, probably bolting the engine on and getting the pulley. The pulley's thirty bucks. I don't. I, I got the money, but I don't want to spend thirty dollars right now. So I may have one laying around here. If not, I'll just spend the thirty bucks and buy it and be done with it. Um, then uh, I'm gonna get. I wanted one of them steel moon seats like the old tractors have and I want to do my own fenders and eventually I will but it's getting so close it's already September I think it's like September 20th uh, but uh, I'm gonna probably end up just putting a regular seat on it like lawnmower seat on it and dealing with that for the winter and then come next year of course the plow will be off of it next year I won't be using it to plow this was originally built a build for my nephew he's seven now yeah he's seven and uh, he's, he's a little bit too short still yeah he can't reach the clutch which I can add a piece to it to make it where he can reach the clutch but I'll just wait till next summer and hopefully I can get him in a few tractor pulls and whatnot like that and it, it'd be a lot better um, but uh, so, uh, I had a comment on Facebook I shared it with my friends and family and they, they've seen the tires and I know that the tires are on backwards I've I done that I've done that for the simple fact that the rim will actually fit the axle a lot better and it spaces it from it spaces it further this way so there's that much of a gap versus the other way there's that much of a gap I mean it ain't built for high speed, it ain't built, the front tires are just there to help it roll. I mean it ain't there to dig into the ground or nothing like that. I didn't intend on for it to dig into the ground. But if it does, it does. If it don't, it don't. It's no matter. Um, beginning of the video where you see me say part four, part five with my hand, that's me 
telling myself what part the video is because when I upload it from when I take it out of the camera the memory card out of the car camera and I put it in the in my tablet my tablet mixes it all up and I can't tell which video is which so um, until my laptop's fixed I, I gotta do that so uh, but it'll be fixed first October and uh, when I get uh, then I can edit and do whatever's necessary and you guys won't see no more of part 5, part 6, part 7 cut, take, blah 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 you know stupid crap like that uh, anyhow I'm trying to trying to keep the cussing out my videos to uh, get really frowned upon on that so I try to keep that out um, I'll be showing a little bit more of the build instead of just you know talking about what I'm doing and then doing it and then coming back onto the video and saying this is what I did in between this time because you know you guys are looking at it and you're going okay that was two minutes ago or whatever you know and really it was four hours ago editing you know um, but I'll show a little bit more of the build I, especially once I get my laptop fixed it'd be better I hope everybody can see me because it's I know it's got a wide frame on it so but uh I kept burning up drill bits last time and I bought hold that thought I'm going to disappear huh oh, damn my wheel fell off again Casters ain't meant for this. I found this little Roy stool in Arbor Freight dumpster a few years ago and I just had some casters laying around so I threw it on. But uh, I bought the titanium nitride, nit nitride, whatever, high speed steel drill bits. Um, they don't last for shit. That, I'll burn them up drilling through this steel. I paid 12, 12 something for them. Uh, like, 14 bucks I think after taxes and whatnot something like that 13 um, they're okay drill bits uh, it's either this or go and buy the DeWalt which was like 70 bucks and it's basically the same drill bit to me I don't see the point in wasting money on on name brand when I'm just going to burn the hell out of them anyhow so but yeah I'll have more for you guys here soon enough um, I think I showed you the engine I got a six and a half horse Arbor Freight Honda clone. Um, if I pull it out right now, it'll fire right up with no problem. Um, it, that's what's going on here. I know it ain't original. The original engine is sitting back over this way. I'm not sure if you can see it. Um, I'm sure if I took the time to rebuild it and all that, it'd be fine. But I just don't care. It's not it's not a must because this is actually going to be for pushing snow this winter and uh, I think the original engine versus the new engine the original engine would be better for tractor pulling I think it's probably built more for the tractor of course because it is like a five or a five and a half horse but uh, and it did run at one time but right now it just don't run uh, but I'll play with it maybe over the winter or something and I, hopefully I can move my stuff into something where I got something a little bit warmer to work with but anyways uh, I also that flat piece of steel I'm going to be using what's left of it to build my lowering arm to lower the the bucket or not the bucket the blade down so uh, I'll show you guys that stuff and if you if you like my videos like them uh, it don't matter to me I'm not into that shit crap whatever uh, too heavy I, it's nothing to me um, subscribe if you want if not no big deal I only got four or five views I'm pretty sure it's all family watching but I mean there might be one guy who clicks on on there and says like I got keywords that, uh, that people type in and my video will pop up and it says snowplow will horse you know and I'm going to add a few more keywords just so that way I know that it's uh, 
Um, so that way, you know, it just people, more people can watch. Because, I, I mean, all my, like, Willie's Jeep build and stuff like that, which all went south on me real quick. It, I tried that two different times, and I, every time it just went south on me. So it, it's, it's time for a new project because I was getting burned out and getting ready to just say the hell with it and blow it all to pieces, you know. Uh, but I know this video is kind of lengthy. I'm going to be editing best I can because it's hard to do on a tablet like I said um, the last video I posted there was actually an additional video to that but it took I think it's 183 minutes to load that four minute video and 80, 183 minutes for a four minute video is crazy which this is going to be four minutes five six now probably but uh it's all right. I mean, I, it, on my tablet, it'll load. It just takes a while. We're running off of uh, countryside Wi-Fi, which is uh, it, it's fast, but it's not as fast as I want it to be. Um, I may use the desktop to upload because it might be quicker on that. But anyhow, it don't matter. You guys don't give, give two craps about that. You just probably want to see the build, and if you don't want to see it, whatever. Um, Advertisements, that's all my videos. I put them on there to make money. I haven't made a red cent off of it since I started doing it four or five years ago. Um, no big deal. I don't care, you know. Never seen a check yet. Probably won't ever see a check. No big deal to me. Um, but uh, other than that, I'm going to be starting a new build. After I get this one done, I'm, I'm wanting to build a... It looks like a, basically like a 1920 flat flatbed Dodge truck. I want to build a miniature version of it uh, on a mower frame. And it's actually going to be two mower frames with five or six speed transmission. And the seat, the steering, and everything will be right here above the wheel, the front wheels. And because I'm going to use two frames, I'm going to use the front clip of a frame to attach to another front clip in a sense but it'll be all one piece and <coughs> uh, my bed will be back here over the engine and training and all that and it'll be a neat little build I'm gonna put headlights tail lights and stuff and it ain't gonna be nothing too fancy because I'm not really into the whole body work of a tractor or anything like that uh, body work of vehicles and stuff like that I do but uh, I love that stuff, but on, on just my stuff, because I'm getting too damn old to be doing stuff like this anymore, it's just a hobby. That's all it is. When you turn it into a job, it, it's not worth doing anymore, and that's the problem I had with the Willys Jeep build, was it was turning into more of a job than a hobby, and I wasn't having fun with it anymore. And that's why I don't off-road mowers or anything like that. Well, one reason, another reason is that, or a couple different reasons is that, A, I don't have a way to do it, or a place to do it and I don't have people to do it with I'd have to get with some people in the groups that I follow on Facebook and go south and all this crap and you know it ain't worth all that time to me I work too much and don't have time to play really so Sunday's my only available day to really play but anyhow yeah I'll let you guys know what's going on here in a little bit hopefully the drilling of this won't take too long uh, thanks for watching more in a little while bye drill or drill press so anyhow it took a combination of my hand drill on this to get it done and it did all right uh, burned up two drill bits not bad versus what I did last time it was like 10 but,
Yeah, let's see if my bolt will fit it. I didn't anticipate. Bring one method. Get one in. I'm pretty sure it will, but question it. Oh yeah, look at that. Perfect fit. Now, for the fun part, I'm going to probably end up having to take, well, I don't know, we'll see. I'll bring you back here in a little bit. Scene 5, <laughs> part 5. You can see I got it all bolted up. It's nice and sturdy. Um, I was building this to where I could take the bolts off and uh, I mean I still could but I'm going to paint over it all so it don't matter because that bumper it ain't going to interfere with anything or support it's not really a bumper um, it's not going to interfere with anything that uh, makes the tractor function it's just there to support the uh, the blade like I said so that said uh I'll see you guys later. I'll be uploading this here in a little while, so um, take care.